Okay guys, what's up? Ked's here. Just doing another video. Sorry I haven't been on for a week. Uh, went on vacation, snowmobiling, hot tubbing, and a lot of drinking. So, uh, well needed. I'm back. Uh, just got a couple things new to show you. Nothing real spectacular, of course. I'm just joking. They're all good. So, got a little... <laughs> got a little, uh, handle action done on this, uh, Bowie knife I've been putting together. This is a one tool steel again. Uh, heat, fully heat treated. I do. I have started that video for the the guy that act, asked about heat treating a one tool steel. Um, so I'm gonna post that up next Sunday. So dude, if you're watching, watch next Sunday afternoon. It should be up. So uh, just zipped it through on the bandsaw, and again, this is apricot. Got to clean it up a little bit. Go ahead and glue it on there. Um, sand her down. Should be ready to go. I got a couple feet of uh, vegetable tanned leather. I'm going to make a nice sheath for it. Kind of old school looking. It's going to be nice. Um, what else? Oh, I've been working on a couple of kiridashis. Um, these are really nice. quarter inch. Actually I uh, ground on the started grinding on the Babylon 1 kind of give you a little update of what that's going to look like. It's just sick. Look at that. Got a hole here. Actually when the Kydex sheath goes on there it's going to push down in there. Uh, that's going to be a positive lockup. Sorry about the blood. Gashed myself about I don't know 45 minutes ago, and this is the third time I'm making this video, so, yeah. Alright, anyway, so, it's going to be cord wrapped, it's going to have a skull crusher on the back, it's going to have a lanyard hole, the drone on there, so, yeah. Um, I don't know what kind of quarters I'm going to use, I might use this really thick camel, um, I also have 550 paracord in a lot of different colors, so, just the camel stuff. I like that. Or black. So yeah, um, I'll go ahead and post that video again of uh, heat treating the old one tool steel um, next week. And uh, oh, before I forget, I actually have some uh, some steel I want to uh, give away here. This is 154 cm precision ground, and possibly. Some D2. Well, both of them are eight. all three of these pieces are eighth inch. So make yourself a nice little blade with that. Um, I haven't thought of a um, kind of a contest to give it away yet. With if anybody has any suggestions, uh, definitely let me know. Or else I'll just hang on to it until I think of something. Um, oh, also one more thing: my utility knife that I use all the time. I love it so much that. I bought a bunch of stool, uh, steel the other day, and oh, the camera, look out! I make them a little bigger, but uh, yeah, they're gonna be pretty slick. So I'll make a bunch of these. I don't know how many I'm gonna make. Maybe three, five, seven. Uh, who knows? And then also, well, I bought a lot of steel. This is just a fraction of what I purchased. I'm gonna make some large choppers. So these are 10 inches. Yep, 10 inches. Um, they're just going to be, they're going to be wicked. I don't know what kind of grind I'm going to do on it. Maybe one Scandi and uh, the rest of them full flat or two Scandi and two flat. I'm not sure yet. This is 1095 532 by 2 inches. And I also got some 1095 here which is 3 sixteenths. Um, three sixteenths is my favorite. Damn it! See, blood everywhere. I'm not making this again. This is the one I'm posting. So, uh, three sixteenths is my favorite thickness in steel. Uh, you can work it down to what you want it to be. I mean, eighth inch is great for small camp knives and things like that. But 
three sixteenths is just a lot more versatile and you can make some pretty badass blades with it so all right hope you enjoyed the video guys let me know what you think and uh... again look forward to more videos later